Niels is facing tough conditions out on his first day here. It hasn't rained for a long time and the river's relatively low, which often makes it hard to get the salmon to take. In low water, the salmon gather in the deep holes and prefer places with a good current from a waterfall or more narrow parts of the river. Niels tries a traditional downstream swing in the deep pools and he tries surface fishing. But the temperature's too low for the salmon to rise to a hitched fly. He catches no salmon on the first day. It's a cool day and the river is still low. Niels has changed tactics and is fishing upstream with a small weighted fly. He's slowly approaching the deep hole behind the rocks. So today I made a new tactic and that was to upstream fish. This has a big advantage that the fish won't see me because I'm approaching them from the back. If they have the face here against the current, I come from the back and I will cast over them and let the fly come down towards them. Compared with I'm fishing with a hitch, I stand up here and the fish he can see me. And in these conditions they get so easily spooked off. So by going behind them and casting a buff with a weighted fly that made the difference now. The fly I chose for this was a, a micro snelda. I'm happy with this little not nice looking fly. The rod I'm using for this kind of fishing is it's actually a trout rod. It's rather soft in action. And this is because of uh, I have to go down in a very thin tippet line here in order to not spook the fish in the shallow water and it's crystal clear. So I'm down in, in 0 0.24 millimeters and by having a stiff rod it will be a problem when I hook up the fish because uh, he can easily break the line when he jumps. But here there's so much bend in the rod so you lose way less fish in this sort of setup. The only problem with this is it's more difficult to cast with the weighted flies. But you don't need to cast far in a river like this. It's more about making an accurate cast and fighting the fish, landing them safely. So this is why I use a six-weight trout rod for this. Niels fishes the same pool again, but this time with a larger and heavier fly.
later in the day at a different location. It's obvious that the deep pool under the small waterfall is holding salmon. Niels fishes upstream with the small heavy fly. Yeah, got him. <laughs> yes. Right after catching a salmon from a pool, the other salmon will often be hard to catch shortly after. Niels tries again, but from a different angle. <laughs> 